Hey guys, we're, this is Stefan from Most Definitely Let's Go. So I wanted to talk to you a little bit about your credit scores. Um, remember this channel is mostly about um, investing, investing in yourself and investing in your business. The best way, in my opinion, best way you can invest in yourself and invest in your business and invest in your family is to have a good credit score. Now, I myself am not an expert in this area. I'm still learning. Uh, one of the things I've learned over the last several years is one, of course, basic knowledge. That a lot of people know you need a credit score for just about everything. Um, you need it when you're renting. You need it when you're buying a house. You need it when you're buying a car. You need it when you get the credit card. Um, when you're getting a job, they look at your credit score. Um, basically, fair credit, they usually say is about 650-ish, 670s. Um, 700 is good. 750s is, you know, uh, very good. And it goes on up all the way to 850. Um, of course, my goal is to get 850. And I think they have 900. Um, I would love to get 900. But I don't think it really makes sense after you get to 850. Um, because when you the higher your credit score, of course, the better rates that you get. Um, I've been struggling with this and I kind of finally figured out the formula for myself. I think for everybody, it's a little bit different. I'm going to show you. I was looking at this um, right here. I'm using um, a really free website that you can look at your credit on. And this is Credit Karma. These are my credit scores. Um, TransUnion, I've got 740. Um, my Equifax is 735. Okay. So that's what I'm looking at. <coughs> so one of the things I kind of figured out was basically, which is, they tell you this, this maybe seem obvious, but when you're using your credit cards, um, keep your balances low, of course. Um, there's a formula they want you to keep it at. Um, if you hold a balance, don't use any more than about 30% of your credit card okay so if you have and excuse me I've got like a frog in my throat <coughs> but if you have um, credit score if you have I'm sorry a balance of like a hundred dollars on your credit card you don't want to keep any more than thirty dollars on it because then that starts to harm your credit score okay um, so you can say I well, this is what I used to use I used to max out my credit score and then my credit card and then i would pay the balance off um before my statement was due and i was wondering i was like man how come my credit score is not going up um but no it doesn't matter that you pay it off you don't want to utilize that full amount even if you pay it off so keep your credit balance below 30 percent, 30 percent or lower okay <clears throat> And if you want to pay it off, fine. Just from personal experience, don't go above that because that alone was keeping me from getting into the 700 range, okay? Another thing, if you have credit cards and you're like, I know you get tired of them. Sometimes people get tired of them. You're like, oh, it would be better if I just didn't have them. Pay them off. Don't use them. If you, you know, if you're like, oh, I can't help myself, but don't close them. Closing your credit card will actually harm your credit, okay? I'm going to say that again. Closing your credit card will harm your credit. Don't do it. I'm telling you from experience. Please don't do it. There's several formulas that go into, um, into having your credit score. Uh, one is your history. So how long you've had your credit card open. Um, they usually like to see... 9, 10, 11 years on up, okay? Um, 14 years is really good. The lower the amount of years that you've had, uh, the more it starts to wave uh, against you. Again, um, if you start <clears throat> opening a bunch of credit cards within a short amount of time, that's red flags. They don't like that. That looks bad, even if your credit card, even if your credit score is really good. So don't open a bunch of credit all up at once, even if you have to, okay? Even if you don't, you feel like you have to. Don't do that, especially if you're going to buy a house or a card. But that's a, another video for another time. Uh, don't open up a bunch. Keep your credit that you have. If you have to close a credit card, close one with a 
high interest rate. But honestly, I'm telling you right now, as of 2022, no matter what your credit score is, everybody's got a high APR or high annual percentage rate. So it doesn't really matter. I was thinking, oh, I'll get in. When I was in the fives, I was thinking, oh, my credit rating is going to get better. My annual percentage rating. I got in a six. Oh, I, I, if it gets a little higher, I'm going to get better. I got into the sevens. Man, it still sucks. I'm in the mid 700s now. And my annual percentage rate for my credit cards still sucks. So what I did was I, I actually did... Um, what I'm suggesting. I don't, I didn't close all my cards up like I wanted to. I wanted to close a lot of them up, but I'm keeping them open because the history helps me on my score, especially back there. And because I don't have any balances on my cards right now. And I mean, none. I used to keep about 30% right now for the next like six months or so. I'm not keeping anything on there. You do have to use them like once every three months to keep your card open. So make sure you do that, pay it off and then don't use it. Um, so credit history, um, utilization, 30%, um, and also don't close them unless you have a high annual percentage rate. I had like one or two that were sky high and the interest rate alone was killing me. So I got rid of them. It just didn't make any sense. And I said, I don't care. I will suffer with the lower credit rating, but you're not going to gouge them on these prices. So that's the one instance I got rid of it. Um, I'm trying to get into a range where my credit rating is about 850. So I've got another 100 points to go. I figured by the time, one last thing, this is what I was going to tell you. By getting a higher um, uh, available balance on your cards without closing them up, that will bring your credit score up. And I'm about to prove it with mine. Um, I'm going to leave mine open. I'm going to pay my balances. I'm going to pay them off. And then every six months, you can say, hey, I want a better rating. Um, one trick is what you can do. And this is what I did with a couple of mine. I didn't like the percentage rate. I didn't like the annual fee that I was getting on one or two. And I said, hey, guys, it's about renewal time. I don't like the way my card percentage rate is. Um, what kind of retention offer do you have? Retention offer do you have? Um, and this is what the, this is the language you have to use for credit card companies, because a lot of times rather than see you leave, they'll say, you know what, you've been a long time, a good customer. We don't want to lose you. Let's offer you this and see what they have to offer. Um, so one thing you do is what I do is every six months is I get a ask for a raise in my credit limit. The reason being is not that I want to utilize all that money, but the higher available credit you have, the longer credit history you have, open balances and keeping them below 30%, that will raise your credit score. And then keep, like I said, keeping your balances low. All those things in mind will raise your credit score. That's what raised my credit score just like over a hundred and like 150 points just recently because I decided I wasn't going to keep the high balances. I'm going to lower them out. I thought by paying them off every month, that was going to do it, but it didn't. So I decided I'm getting rid of them. So saved my cards. I'm just getting rid of the balances. That's what I'm saying. <clears throat> so that's what I have to offer for you today on getting your credit score rating higher. Um, I'm going to keep you posted on my score and over the next several months in about six months, let's get, I'm going to raise my card balances. I'm not going to spend anymore, but I'm going to raise the balances up and then Watch what happens to my credit score. All right, guys, if you have any questions, be below and uh, go ahead and write below in my comments. And then um, don't forget, see me if you're a skater, um, highlifeskateshop.com. Um, so the High Life Skate Shop, that's our business. Um, if you're a skater, get your skateboards, cruiser boards, um, get your long boards, get your accessories, get your hats, get your gear, get everything you need from there. Okay, guys, um, I'm reaching over. I'm getting one of my hats right now. Yeah. So utilize that, um, what we have to offer for you there. And um, just keep tuning in. If you haven't uh, signed up, please go ahead and sign up uh, or subscribe and then keep watching for our channel for more great news and great insight like this. Okay, guys. All right. I will see you next time. Take care.